Hey guys, welcome back to Jesse's Shed. Uh, in previous videos, I've done a service on the TTR50 and the Peewee 50. Today, I'm gonna do a comparison between the two and sort of explain why we have two of them and how they work differently for us. Now, the story behind these bikes, uh, we bought TTR50 back in about June of last year. It was when COVID was in full swing and you couldn't get anything. The dealerships had quite a few of these still, but they had none of the Peewee 50s. And we sort of realized that after a while, why they didn't have these in stock and they did still have some of these. Um, these are a fantastic bike. I absolutely love this bike. It is a proper sort of miniature motorbike. They, they ride just like any other 80, 125, 150. They have um, gears, they have a full frame. They've got the proper foot brake and then hand brake and electric start. That was the big thing for us. When we bought this, the dealer sort of sold us on the fact that it was electric start we've got two girls and it's going to be much easier to start one of these versus a pw50 i didn't do much other research on it and that's my own fault um, but we just grabbed it went home and it was my six-year-old that really wanted to ride my eight-year-old was sort of keen but my six-year-old was the one that was desperate for a motorbike we put her on it and this thing is huge for a six-year-old she couldn't touch the ground she was tippy toed i'll show you later in the video Sophie actually sitting on it and 12 months later this thing is still huge for her. Um, she can ride it, she's a good enough rider that we can set her on it and, and let her go and she's fine but if she comes across something that she's got to stop and it's an awkward angle it's very hard for her to stop and she dropped it a lot of times when she initially had it and that really put her off. She just stopped riding after that and wasn't really keen to get on it at all. That's when I did a bit of uh, research about the Peewee 50 and that's where I sort of figured out why these are still on the market because I couldn't understand why they had an, an electric start bike with all of the the features that this thing does but they still made the peewee now if you put these things side by side there is a huge difference in the bike the peewee has a seat height of 485 millimeters this has a seat height of 555 millimeters and probably the most striking difference between the two is this has a full frame on the bike this doesn't. The motor pretty much supports everything and then there's just a couple of frames underneath. Um, it's a shaft drive versus a chain drive and the weight. The height is huge and that makes a big difference for her because she can flat foot it but this bike here is 39 kilos. The TTR is 57 kilos. Now when you're six, 18 kilos of difference is massive. It's absolutely massive. Sophie can tilt this bike over and pick it back up quite easily. This one she can't. So that's been the main difference for us and, and where it just gave Sophie this, this level of confidence that she didn't have when she was on the TTR. And that's why these little bikes still exist. So apart from the shaft drive, uh, the frame on the bike and the, the uh, weight of it, this is a two stroke, this is a four stroke. This bike here is much quieter to ride, much smoother. It is actually a much nicer bike for the kids to ride, but the weight difference there does not offset all of those positives because this being a two stroke, it's got less components, it's a lot simpler. So the motor can be made lighter. You can see here, the motor itself is a lot smaller. It's full of grass already. And this is one of the drawbacks of these bikes. These are so low to the ground that any grass that you go through gets caught in it. This same bike's been ridden in the same area and there's nothing on it. Whereas this one's completely loaded. And that's why during the service videos, you'll see that the air filter for this bike is much dirtier than what the TTR is. So mechanically between the two bikes, they're very different. Uh, this is a four stroke. This one is a two stroke. Being a two stroke, it allows you to have a much smaller motor, a lighter motor, and it's simpler. So it's much easier to work on. Uh, being a four stroke though gives a lot more refinement to the motor. It's a smoother bike to ride and the motor is also a lot quieter. So if you're in an area where you're worried about noise, I would say this is definitely the bike to go over the Peewee. Although this isn't hugely loud, it is definitely louder than the TTR. So apart from the motors, um, the frame obviously is very different on the bike. This is a shaft drive. The TTR 50 is a chain drive. The chain is probably easier to work on if something goes wrong, but the shaft drives on these have been around forever and they're extremely reliable and virtually maintenance free. They're a sealed unit and I find them to be fantastic. Um, 
Both bikes are electronic ignition and carburetor driven. Very easy to work on, very simple little carburetors and there's not much maintenance that you need to do with that. Uh, now as for braking, the TTR has a traditional foot brake for the rear and then a hand brake for the front. The Peewee 50 has the rear brake is on the left handlebar and the front brake is on the right. The operation of the brakes is very similar, they're both drum brakes and I've found them to be very reliable. The biggest difference between the two bikes as far as starting goes is this is electric start so you've got a little battery hidden behind here which is just more weight again for the bike. Um, the TTR is kickstart. If you've got a kid that is, probably for the boys they'll be stronger, a little bit bigger at the same age and they, I've found out our, our, some of our nieces and nephews can kick this thing over easier than others but for Sophie our six-year-old we still have to kick start it for her so that's probably the biggest drawback is getting her started on the bike we need to come over and start it and then she's good to go she can stop and get off the bike fine on her own but the other big problem with these and it's just simply because of the the way the frame is designed they've got a center stand and for a little kid it's incredibly hard to get that center stand down um, our nine and ten year old niece and nephew they struggle to even put the bike on the center stand compared to just a, a regular side stand which the TTR has so each bike definitely has its drawbacks one is not better than the other but they do have different purposes this peewee as I was saying the seat height is 485 mils for a six-year-old again that's a massive massive difference when you combine a low seat with a much lighter bike 18 kilos lighter this is just going to instill the confidence that the kid needs to, to learn how to ride, forget about dropping the bike and worrying about changing gears and all those things and just get your technique right and learn how to ride properly. Once they are confident on the bike and they're that little bit taller, probably I would say around the seven and a half to eight years old mark is where these bikes come into their own. The taller bike is a much more comfy uh, seating position for my eight year old. She doesn't get on the peewee, she finds it too short now, but she absolutely loves the TTR and she's in the same boat where she can actually lean this bike over now, flat foot it anywhere and catch it. But it's got that extra bit of power. She's got the ability to kick it down a gear if she wants to go up a much taller hill. Uh, the peewee, it really does struggle with an eight year old on it to get up a, a big hill. But the TTR just has power for days for anyone that size. I can ride it myself and it doesn't struggle to run in first gear at all with me on it. Cost-wise, the bikes are very similar. Um, this was $21,990 retail and this was $23,990 retail. As far as running costs go, um, they virtually use the same amount of fuel. This one has a uh, premix system, so you've got to put a little bit of two-stroke in it every now and then, but they don't use that much, so it's not really a factor in comparing the two. Um, Servicing-wise, if you look at my other two videos on servicing the two bikes, they use almost the same stuff to service them. Um, they're just different, but cost-wise, it's virtually the same. This one does have a battery in it, um, and it doesn't have a kickstart, so you have to make sure that you keep it charged. You can bump start them in a pinch, um, but it doesn't have a clutch, so there's a little bit of a knack to doing that. So apart from all the other technical things about the bikes, the main reason we ended up with two is this little girl here. This is Sophie. You say hi. hi. Now, Sophie originally got given the TTR 50, which is this bike here. Uh, we were told that it would be a great um, starter bike. There was no need to go to the Peewee 50. Um, Sophie, can you jump onto the TTR for me? Now you can see here she can get on. She's six and she's 120 centimeters and she's on tippy toes on both feet. When she first got it, she couldn't actually put this foot on the ground at all when she stopped. So it was a case of running up and catching the bike whenever she was finished. Uh, she can ride it in every other respect. It's, it's easy for her to ride and there's, it's plenty slow enough or quick enough for her. But this becomes a real chore after a while, catching every single time they want to stop. Do you want to hop off that one, Sophie, and jump on the other bike for us? Now, if you look on the Peewee 50, even up on its stand, Sophie can flat foot on both feet. The bike's plenty big enough for her and it's got heaps of power and it's a really good fit for her. She can start and stop on her own. The big drawback though is this bike is not electric start. So starting is a problem on this one. We have to get her started where she can stop on this easily, but the other one, it's the stopping that's the problem. 
Uh, the main thing that's a big issue for kids though is confidence on these things when they're starting and being able to flat foot is a massive confidence booster. If she gets into trouble and needs to stop, she can pretty much anywhere. And uh, which bike would you say you like better, Sophie? Would you want to ride the other one instead? We get rid of this one? No. So it's been a massive change getting the Peewee 50 for Sophie. It's given her a lot more confidence and a lot more independence on the bike. Her older sister rides this one who is eight. Um, so as I said, she's 120 centimeters and six and the Peewee 50 to us has been invaluable and I would definitely not try and upsize the bike just for the sake of uh, getting that bit of longevity out of it. So as you can see with Sophie, her feet can touch the ground really easily and she can manoeuvre the bike around really well. She doesn't struggle to get started and turn it and move. And that's what you need in a kid that's learning how to ride a bike. You don't want them to be towing around and, and hopping around. You just want them to be able to get on it, take off and be confident. So here's Sophie on the Peewee 50. Uh, the change from the TTR to the Peewee has been massive as far as her confidence goes. Getting rid of the gears was a massive thing because Sophie used to worry about what gear she was in if she came anywhere near a hill. She was worried that it would stall out and then she wouldn't be able to put her feet down. So she was constantly checking it. With the Peewee, she knows she's just got to pull a little harder on the accelerator and it's good to go. And if she does get into trouble, she can just put her feet down and stop and then wait for some help. So. I would definitely recommend going for the smaller bike for a smaller kid to start with. When you sell these second hand, they're almost the same price as when you bought it new. You can sell this, change it over to a TTR 50, and then they'll be good for another couple of years, and you really haven't lost any money. But the confidence the kid has gained is massive. So as you can see up a hill, it's got plenty of power to get her up there. And she's just a lot more confident because she hasn't had to think about what gear she was in. So that's pretty much it the, for the differences between the two bikes. You've got the little Peewee with its semi frameless design, its shaft drive, and just a really nice, light, nimble bike. Great for little kids, kids that just don't have that confidence yet. TTR 50 is that next step up. It is a fantastic bike. It's really well built, really solid and reliable. It's got all the features you could want on a bike, including electric start, which the Honda still didn't have for that year model. And just very simple and executed very well. Hopefully this helped you out if you're looking at buying one of these bikes. Uh, if it did, consider subscribing, give me a like and a comment, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.